Hi, Dawn Lewis here. Welcome to day seven, the final day of our Copic Seven Ways in Seven Days video series. Yesterday, I showed you how to color with three mismatched markers. Today, we're going to do some very traditional color blending family coloring using Y21, Y23, and Y26. I am using sketch markers today, but you can use chow markers. They will do exactly the same job. There isn't any difference in the actual ink that's inside the marker it's more about the physical actual barrel of the marker instead i'm starting with my y21 and just like i've done in previous videos in this series i'm going to employ the white space for highlight technique it's going to give us the illusion that we've got more markers than we actually do so you'll notice i'm using a flick technique rather than coloring in circles or leaving a very hard straight line it's just going to make it that little bit easier to blend later on and it will be easy to blend because these colors are so close together in their natural blending family that there's going to be very little effort. I'm coming in with the Y23 and just as I've done previously you'll notice I'm coloring exactly where I went before but I'm not quite going to the edge. I'm leaving it so you can still see a little of the Y21. In that white space we're going to have Y21 later so it's going to be a double whammy there but now I'm using the Y26 and again you'll see I'm not going quite as far as I did that's in a smaller area. This is why when it comes to re-inking your Copic markers, it's those paler colors that are going to run out first because you use them over a larger area each time that you color. So my method is I go up and then I come back down. So I've gone all the way up to Y26. Now I'm coming down to Y23 and I'm coloring back over that. And I'm even going a little into the area where I colored with the Y21. And now with that 21, I'm just coming in. You'll notice from the pale end, flicking in towards the other, I'm not coloring it all over because I don't want to desaturate all that shading that I did before. And one of my favorite things about Copic markers is that I can go back in, I can strengthen in the shadow areas. So this is something that I could come back to later in the day. I could come back to it tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, and keep working this image. So you can actually you know, keep doing it. It doesn't all have to be done at once. Unless you're coloring an entire area, I say you can rework an image. So I'm just deepening the shadows by adding a little more Y26, softening those edges with the Y23, and this is traditional coloring. I've used three markers. It looks like more. It's blended effortlessly because these markers are so close together in their natural color blending family. By only being two and three apart, that's worked well. So on day one, we used one marker. On day two, we used one plus a zero. On day three, we used two close together. On day four, we used two far apart. On day five, we used two plus a gray. On day six, we used three mismatched. And today, we've used three perfectly matched Copic markers to get a beautiful color blend. I do hope you have enjoyed this uh, seven part series. Uh, I am planning to do some more. So if you have some things you'd like to learn about Copic markers, please let me know. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe for future coloring and crafting videos. If you're looking for Lawn Fawn and Copic in Australia, you can find it at dawnlewis.com.au. I hope you have a very crafty day and I will see you next time. Bye for now.